Okay, so if you're using Google Sheets and you have a table of data like we do here, and you want to add some totals into it, maybe we want to total the ending balance and the ending value, we're going to go over a couple of different ways to do this and advantages and disadvantages of each method. And you can already see I put an error in the ending value column, so we'll talk about how to deal with that. The first thing that I would do with this table is just to give it some formatting. And we'll do that real quick because this really isn't about formatting, but you want your reader to know where to look to find the totals. So I will go to format, do alternating colors. And our table, if you look, has a header row and we're going to be putting in a footer row. So I'm going to left click on footer as well. We're going to make it green just because black and white is boring and click done. And now it's apparent where our table starts and ends. And I'm going to type total down here and I'm going to left click on the bold symbol to make the entire row bold. Okay, so let's say that we want to, let's say you want to sum column C. The most intuitive way to do this is to start with an equal sign. You always start with an equals if you're going to do a formula. So you're telling Google Sheets to sell equals what I'm going to type in. And it already auto suggests the sum formula. But the most basic way to do this would be to say, take cell C5, so I'm left clicking on C5, plus C6, plus C7, until you get to the end and press enter. Now that works and it's intuitive if you read it. So when I come back in and I click on the formula, we'll talk about a few things here. Each of these cells is color coded to help you look at it. So if you want to see C5 is orange in the formula and there's orange around the box. And Google Sheets is also giving you the result of the formula already. So as you type, you would see this blue number increment. But as you look at this, if you could imagine this table with a hundred rows in it, you could easily miss one of them by doing it this way and you wouldn't see it. And the formula would also just get kind of large and hard to read but we're going to leave it this way for now. I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to select it again, and I'm going to copy and paste it into column E, and this will show you another problem with this formula. So if you use just plus signs, and you have a value in your table that isn't recognized as a number, you'll just get an error, and it won't be able to add it up. So let's go back to C9. We're going to start with a better method, which is sum formula. Now we're going to be typing in the name of the function throughout this tutorial, but the easiest way to do it, if you don't know the name of the function, is to go up to the toolbar and click on the delta sign. This is a list of all your functions and sum is going to be listed first because it's the most common function. If you left click on that, it puts it down in the cell for you already. And let's zoom in here for a minute. This function is telling you a few things as it's sitting here. So one, you get the box of the helper text and it's telling you that it's going to return the sum of a series of numbers or cells. You have this little gray object under the blinking cursor and that's saying it's waiting for a value. So you have the two parentheses, but inside you need to tell me what to do with it. And optionally, you can give me additional values if you'd like. So we could do it where we gave it C5 and hit a comma or a semicolon in some countries and then C6, et cetera. The sum function would work, but you're still having the same problem where you have to list out all the cells. Better way to do it, the much more efficient way, is to designate the starting cell, hit your colon, and then designate the ending cell, which in this case is C8, and then we'll close out the parentheses, and it's showing one box around the entire range that you're going to sum and if you look at the cell references in the function, they're both orange. So they're corresponding to this. You hit enter, it says 98. Now the other advantage of using the sum function is if I, I'm going to copy it, I'm going to come over to cell E9, and I'm going to paste it, it can ignore this bad value of 70 and it adds up what it can. So if I select these other cells and I look at the auto sum feature down here, it's coming up with 550. If I also select E7, it doesn't change. It's 550. So this next video is all the basics that you need to know to start using Google Sheets. And at the end of the video, you are going to be probably the most incredible spreadsheet user on the face of the earth. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please subscribe. You'll see more like it.